How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the blue shifting and welcome back to uh, Saint Maker, where my immediate theory that a lot of the supernatural psychological stuff was going to mostly be or implied to be like just inside the mind kind of got chucked out the window when we went exploring and saw statues parading in the halls, chanting and moving. And when we broke one, it had like fleshy innards and just, yeah, it was all great. And the, the thing is, like, I would have maybe thought it was just another hyper, like hyperactive dream sequence. But Gabby saw it, too. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. This week's going to turn to how do we not die while we're here? That it's going to be interesting. So I hope you're excited to see playthrough of as I am. Like, I, I, I know this is a shorter story, so like. In all reality, we might be around halfway through the story at this point. Um, I think it's supposed to be like an only like a like a six hour experience, but it's got like different endings, I guess. So like it's got a lot of replay value. So we'll see what ending we get. But regardless of that, <laughs> let's get started. So let's jump right into the, the morning after. Another day, another crack to fill. Another layer of paint to cover up all the stains and flaws. Till it's just right. Dearest Heavenly Father, I had the most curious dream last night. I dreamt of her, Mother Idolora. We were in this very room, and all the seats were filled with my sisters. She was saying something, something very important, but her words slipped through my mind like air. And before I knew it, it turned into a song. And there were all, they were all singing. The voices rang through the halls like a choir of angels. Just like the old days. Oh, Heavenly Father. Many a saint has heard your voice through their dreams, which makes me wonder, what could it all mean? It is a sign, Adira, a sign of great things yet to come, a reminder of how things used to be. So is it a sign or a reminder? I'm guessing it was a sign. Of course, of course. God has it all planned out, all this time, patiently caring for this convent, fixing these statues for years and years. There's a point to it. A reason. Oh boy, I might pick the wrong one. <laughs> and day by day, we inch a bit closer to the next part of the beautiful story that he's written. Look to the future. I feel so much better now. A new day is upon us, rejoice. <sighs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Psst. <laughs> Such a nice dream. I don't want to wake up just yet. Not now, Liana. What? What the hell's Liana? Wake up! Huh? <laughs> oh gosh. Did you hear that? It sounded like Adira. No, actually, it sounded like, what's her name? The, the really a positive girl. I'm going down to check it out. I'll go with you. Sure. Hey. About what happened last night. Yeah, unfortunately it was real. Um, I wish it weren't, but it kind of... I think it was. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe later. Uh-huh. Oh, the statue we broke. It's coming from, from the room last night. She sculpted this herself and painted, I believe. Oh. Oh, she loved this one so very much. Oh, no. Viv, I'm sorry. So sorry. Um, Sister Adira? Oh, good. Sister Annalyn, I need you to... Oh, you... <clears throat> yes, of course. You two. 
forgive me. I seem to have lost track of time. My mind, it wanders sometimes. Is everything okay? Of course not. Just look at this. Broken and shattered. How? How did this happen? It wasn't me. It really wasn't. It was just fell all its own. Sister Adira, will you see? What do I even tell her? Do I tell her what we saw? Where? What? Well, ah, where do I even begin? <sighs> I mean, here's the thing. She's not going to believe us. But we have to try, right? I mean, I don't think she's a bad person. She's probably going to dismiss it as a lie. But if we just tell her a flat out lie, she'll dismiss that as a lie, too. Like she'd believe ever believe me. Oh, come on. But but I should at least try. There we go. Maybe break it to her gently. Well, you see, there's something very wrong with this place. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I think this place is haunted. <laughs> well, so much for that. And I know how stupid that sounds, but, but look, you need to believe us. We went down here last night and the, the statues, they were moving. Uh, excuse me? We heard noises. We tried to figure out what was going on. And there were statues where they weren't supposed to be. You can ask Holly. I swear I'm not making this up. Holly, tell her. Holly, is this true? Yes. What did you see? Details. I, I need to know the details. Oh, gosh. She's actually, she believes us. That means she kind of expected this. Well, we also heard chanting. What kind of chanting? Like, like prayers everywhere. Like it was coming from the convent itself. <sighs> now, here's the part where I'm really, really hoping you've got a logical explanation for what we just saw. Anything to just explain what we saw the other night. Yeah, anything would be lovely. At this point, I'll take the fact that you injected us with drugs and, like, you know, like, uh, psychedelics that made us just have these fantastical, real sensational-like dreams and totally not real. <sighs> hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. <sighs> And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Oh, lovely. Luke 130. Oh, boy. Sister Adira, what are you... <sighs> what you have just described to me fits many of the miracles we've recorded throughout history. Oh, gosh. Concrete statues, their lips moving as if in prayer. Accounts of the Virgin Mary weeping tears of blood. Oh, that's terrifying. Perhaps you are hearing the calling. Though still, we can't be too sure. Excuse me? What we saw? It definitely wasn't a miracle. And you believe yourself to be an expert on that matter, Gabriella? No, but I don't anticipate miracles making you feel that much fear and dread. Well, no, but... Haunted was the word I believe you used? Oh, dear child, there's no such things as ghosts. But bleeding, crying statues? When we pass, our souls go to one of two places, heaven or hell. And from what you've told me, we just might be fortunate enough to find ourselves in the presence of angels. Uh, or demons. That, that can't be true, could it? Wow. There's no changing your mind, is there? Well, in the coming days, hopefully I can change yours. There are records. Records and books on this matter. Right here in this very room, if I'm not mistaken. I think we should do some research. Though it seems uh, I have let this place go. Well, no matter. I have two able-bodied young women with me. Yes. Yes, that is something we can do. A good first step. <clears throat> Starting today, I'd like you to assist me with fixing up this convent. Starting with this room. Outside, to the left, down the hallway, is a closet. Get us some mops and brooms. Whatever. 
As for my dear Teresa here, I shall pick up the pieces. This will take weeks of work, but if what she said is true, then this will better be fixed by the time... That's all right. It's all right, Adira. Just like our dream. It is a sign. Yes, God has it all planned out. Oh, gosh. Yes. Yes, I will do it then. I'll put you back together so she can see the fruits of my labor. And it will all be perfect. Not a single crack. Almost like it never happened. I also don't like... It's interesting the parallels to our own, like, traumatic experience that this place has. Sister Adira? Is she okay? Did... Do you need me help? Don't touch it, you! Oh, oh fetch! It scared me. I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> you, you... Okay. You, you might hurt yourself, dear. Sharp little edges. Best let me handle it. Oh. Sh sure. Great, 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 great. I like you, Sister Adira, but that's, uh, hmm. Holly, I could really use a hand here. I'll just... I'll be going then. Oh boy, offering help. I wonder if it, those achievements mark like potential story moving points. Careful, careful now. You don't want to drop that. Put it right over there. Uh. <clears throat> oh, the last of it. There you go. Oh, just look at that. Looking better already. Um. Sister Adira, if we're going to mop this side, I think we're going to need to move some of the tables over here. Yes, yes. Move them to the sides. Gabriella, can you handle that part of the room? Gabriella? Yeah, sure. Very good. As for those boxes over there, Holly, kindly stack them onto the side. Sure thing. Hmm? There's all sorts of old documents here. March 24, 1976. I am fortunate to bear witness to the workings of a living saint. As such, I have decided to compile my experiences here. Hopefully one day my words can serve as proof that we were witnesses to something special here. 76. That age... That, that's ages ago. Not good to snoop around like this, but... Yeah, just a quick peek. I had a talk with Mother Idolora I I I this uh, morning. She was doing her usual rounds. As I stepped foot in the cloister, I felt a gentle breeze upon me. I noticed, too, the flowers blooming with such vibrant colors. It's amazing how, with such minimal care, nature itself seems to blossom while in her presence. As I reported on the statue of the young girl under our care, she asked me what I thought it was we were doing here. Training young girls to become proper children of God, I said. You speak of a single brick, but I envision a monument, she said, smiling. This place shall become heaven on earth, a place where even death itself would lose all meaning. Oh, no. Though our bodies are frail and prayers and teachings will live on through these sacred hallways. When I asked her how, it was, how this was to be possible, she merely smiled and said, God shall make it so. I am so fortunate to be alive in this wondrous time. Hmm. I wonder if... What are you looking at? Oh, I... I just found some old papers. Let me see. <sighs> oh. I almost forgot about these. Were these hers? I compiled them myself, I you know. know. All those years ago. Hmm. Pass me that stack over there, will you? I will take these back to my study. They will be helpful in the coming days. Please continue cleaning the room. And Holly, these documents are convent property. And as such, it is ill manners to go looking through them without permission. I'd be like, all right, Sister Adira, can I look through these? <laughs> I may not always be watching, but God always knows. At this point, I'm gonna just go for it. Uh, yes, sorry. I'll remember that. See to it that you do. I wonder what else was written there. It sounded interesting. Oh my gosh. So, are you going to talk about what just happened? Yes, please. Yeah. What do you think happened? 
You know how in movies, the kids tell the adults they've seen a ghost or something, and then no one believes them? Yeah. This time, she believed us right away, which is almost scarier. I kind of wish that happened. Because now, well, I don't know what exactly is going through her head, but this is all just wrong. I know, right? To be honest, I'd rather pretend it was all just a bad dream. It's easier to just forget. You know. But that's the thing about bad dreams. They don't just go away after one night's rest. Yeah. It's all so... strange. But... But strange isn't really a bad thing now, is it? Hmm. Is it exciting or bad thing? It is kind of exciting, but it's a I need to get out of here kind of way. Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? But don't you think it's also a bit exciting? Are you serious? Okay, hear me out. Just think about it. What we saw last night was something scary, but it was also something different. Something like really unique. Something special. She's not getting it. Hmm, how do I put this into words? Almost like, almost magical, yeah, almost magical, yeah. It sounds almost magical, like, like in the Queens of Half-Night, when they spotted the white wolf prowling along the East Wing. It was up to Kylie and her friends to figure out what was going on. There's always some sort of mysterious incident that binds the characters together. And I mean, it's not like we were hurt or anything. I don't believe this. I don't like our take on it either. <laughs> I'm just saying, what about you? Have you ever seen anything like it before? No. And if I had it my way, I'd never want to see anything like it again. Here's the thing. Okay. Brutal honesty here. In the moment, when I don't know what's going on, I would be like Gabby. But once I left and got back to normal life, I'd always wonder what had been going on. And knowing me... Part of me would want to go back. Maybe with some proper tools, like cameras and stuff. But ultimately go back and see if I could figure out what exactly was going on. Because here we're caught underwear. You know, pants down, feeling real vulnerable like. But you can't just ignore this, right? Like, you'd have to at least figure out what's going on. Especially if it could become a risk to people, you'd want to know. All right, so what is going to happen now, I wonder? Like... But just think about it. You mentioned movies. Maybe it's just like that. Or like in a book, or any story for that matter. The heroes find something mysterious, something they can't explain, and then they work together to find out what it is. Like it or not, that's kind of the situation we're in. It's a very optimistic way to look at that. The movies I was thinking of were the ones where people die. You know, horror movies. Newsflash, Holly. The world isn't some fairy tale. But... I mean, it could be. Jesus! You just believe anything they want you to, don't you? No, it's not like that. I'm just saying- Did you hear her back there? All this talk of miracles and angels and demons. Well, I'm not saying she's right, but who knows? Maybe she's on to something. If there's anyone who might have an idea, it's her. Adira is an old woman who... who believes in a lot of things. I mean, fair. And the last thing she needs right now is someone encouraging her. Ugh! I can't do this! It's bad enough that I'm spending my summer stuck here, but now... this! I did not sign up for this. And why'd you even come here last night? Are you just trying to scare me? Is that it? No! It wasn't like that! I mean, at the moment, though, it kind of was. Well, congrats. You succeeded. And look where we are now. Here we go again. I can't believe this. Okay, deep breath, Holly. Calm down. Fighting isn't going to solve anything. <sighs> it might make you feel better, but... Look, let's just... 
calm down. I'm really sorry if I made you mad. Please, you apologize all the time, and you never mean it. Oh, well. She's not listening. Just calm down, Holly. Calm down. Tell her what you're thinking. Is that so hard? We've already seen ghosts after that. It doesn't seem so scary. Maybe. Maybe you're right. I do say sorry a lot, don't I? So I'll stop that. You don't like me. I get it. And that's fine. I honestly don't like myself that much either. <laughs> it must be nice. Nice to be able to look people in the eyes and talk back and sneak things in and get into all sorts of fights like it's nothing. But that's the thing. I can't be like you, but I'm not the source of your problems here, okay? I mean... Yeah. Whatever you did to land yourself here, that's on you. It's not my fault you got caught going to your wild parties where you do drugs and make out with boys or whatever. All right, Kali, calm down. <sighs> there, I said it. Is that why you think I'm here? I, well. First off, even if I did do all those things, there ain't anything wrong with that. But I never snuck out to any wild parties, never did drugs, and I never... It all was boys. It was a sleepover. I confessed. She didn't feel the same way. That's what it is. <laughs> the look on her face. I'll never forget it. Yeah, that's gotta be kind of a sucky bridge to have to cross, you know? Like, you get across, you fall in love with someone, but they take it the wrong way. They, t they, they, they don't see... Like, it's one thing to be like, no, I don't feel the same way. But it's another if it's like completely alters the way they look at you. Next thing I know, the talk of the school. Oh. Uh, Rumors everywhere. And of course, they reach my mom. That's it. Okay. And if you still think that somehow that's all my fault, I've got nothing more to say to you. I... I'm really sorry. That... That does suck. That's just like them, isn't it? Another one of their rules, their beliefs that they that hurt people. That hurt us. <laughs> That's the thing. My family... We weren't born into the faith. When my dad passed away, Mama just... I guess she just needed something, anything, to fill the void. That's a common thing. And then, well, it started with a friend. She told her about the lovely and supportive community they had. And I suppose they told her the exact type of stories she wanted to hear. And so, just like that, I was enrolled in a new school. New traditions, new community. Ended up working out really well for her. But not for me. I used to be Gabby to her. Now, I'm just... Gabriella. Dang, that sucks. So forgive me for being a bit skeptical when it comes to people like you. And Adira? <laughs> oh, I know her type. Someone like me is never gonna get in her good graces. People like that... And they can be pretty stubborn. That's putting it lightly. Come on, she's had me pegged from the moment I got here. So, I made up my mind as soon as I stepped foot in this oh-so-holy convent. I'll just give her exactly what she's expecting. Hmm. Maybe because that's the easier path? Not that she should be seeking to change herself. Like, it's obviously kind of BS why she was dragged out here, but... At the same time, isn't that kind of letting her win in a weird way? Best to just show them what they want to see early on. Spare them the disappointment. <laughs> That's interesting. Isn't that the exact philosophy she accused us of having and us actually having? You're not wrong. The fall's real bad when people don't see it coming. 
that what happened to you? That's not... I'd rather not talk about it. You know what? Whatever. It's getting real stuffy in here. I'm gonna take a break. Wait! There you go again, Holly. It's always like this. So, what's it gonna be, Holly? You're just gonna stand there with your mouth shut like you always do? It's cold. It's funny. Seems like they're. Uh, I see, this seems to be the one place where I can take breath. I can breathe easy. There she is. Hey. Hey. I think I'm leaving. How? How are you gonna do that? I'll sneak out. Preferably before nightfall. It's a long way to the nearest town. Are you just gonna walk? I don't think that's very safe. Well, who knows. Once I get to the roads, maybe I can hitchhike or something. That still doesn't sound very safe. Glad to see that you're suddenly concerned for me. Look, I'm sorry. God, you're right. I really should stop saying that. I'm plagued with that too. I apologize all the time. And I never stop. And I know that it becomes an empty void of word once you use it that many times. But that I still do it. Back at home, my mom would always take us to these church meetups. We'd have to smile a lot, engage in their small talk, make sure every little thing we said was something they just loved to hear. There'd be hell to pay if we ever got anything wrong. I guess old habits die hard. We? Oh, yeah. My sister. We'd read the Kylie Taylor books together. Mom would kill us if she ever found out, so we had to do it while everyone else was asleep. We'd come up with all these scenarios. Finding a secret door that would take us to other worlds. Waking up one day to find out we had magic powers. And I know, it may all seem like silly fairy tales to you. It was a lifeline for us. But it was fun. It made things easier, I guess. We both just wanted so badly to be part of something special. Something different. I see. Your sister... She didn't join you here? She's... She's not here anymore. I'm sorry. Do... Do you want to talk about it? Do I? Tell her the truth. Maybe, maybe I should. Where, where do I even start? Hey, take your time. I kept it up for a long time, you know. It was all smiles and nods at her funeral. But even then, I could feel everyone's stares. I could hear what they were whispering about her. About me. Oh boy. And then, just a few months after, nothing. Dang. Everyone just moved on? We moved out our stuff, put it in little boxes, and just packed it all away. We would eat our meals as a family of three. They would continue to go to their parties and religious meetups. I even started to forget what her name sounded like. I... I couldn't stand it. I had a pretty bad breakdown after that. Stopped going to school. Stopped going to church. Even stopped eating for a while. Wow. Uh, I don't think I ever told anyone that before. <laughs> it's the silence, isn't it? Digs deep. Worse than any noise. Do you feel like screaming just so someone, anyone, notices? Yeah. We have a lot in common. Just the right size. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it would. <coughs> Mind if I join you? 
Plenty of stones to go around. There's plenty of stones to go around. <laughs> I hate it. Having to follow all these rules every goddamn day. Every time we spoke out of line. Every time we messed up. Till I got everything right. Till I learned how to never mess up. <laughs> Uh-oh. What the? I think we might have broken the window. That looks bad. Oh, gosh. What is this? That's a breaking stuff. What was that sound? <gasps> oh. No. No, 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 no. Crown glass. Oh. She modeled it after the St. Chapelle. The light it cast in the morning. Oh. Years of history. Sacred history. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh boy. Just when we were in the middle of fixing things, preparing for you, Corinthians. What? Do you not know that our bodies are temples? And this temple was her body. It wasn't. It was an accident. You butchered my home! Stop! Just tell her. For once in your life, just take the blame that you deserve. Tell the truth. I... I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. I did it. It, it was me. Here it comes, Holly. I have been so kind to you. To both of you. And this is what you do to me! Oof. Hey! It's fine, Gabriella. <sighs> what thought, what force seized you to assault the house of God? She didn't mean to. We were just playing a game, and I guess Holly ended up throwing the stone a bit too hard. That's all. Uh, a game? So this is the work of your idle hands, then? In that case, I'll be sure to... No, 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 no. That will not do. We're all just cracking. Violence is never the answer. Lord, give me the strength to see clearly. Let's take a step back now, shall we? Even if there was no malice in your actions, that doesn't fix the damage you've caused. I shall be telling your parents about this. You don't have to go that far. She already said- That matter is final, Gabriella. After all, who else will I charge for the damages? Oh, gosh. Next, the both of you will pick up every last bit of glass from the floor. Am I clear? Y yes. <sighs> Fine. She's going to tell mom. She's definitely not going to like that. Another thing to look forward to when I get back home. Cool. Cool. Just, just great happiness. Well, that's a mess. Yeah. Mm. Let's pick up the bigger pieces first. Then sweep the smaller ones later. Oh, I'm so stressed. Sure. Why was this more horrifying than the statues? Hey, thanks for covering for me. You... you didn't need to do that. <laughs> Look, what you did... really stupid. Yeah. Jeez. Watch your aim next time. On the other hand, it was kind of a relief to see you let loose like that. <laughs> Guess you were right about throwing stones after all. Not feeling of breaking something? Anything? Oh, because it in all the cost of the slap of a face in the afternoon of cleaning up the mess. I'd do it again. After all, there are worse things. No, no, stop that, Holly. Why am I even thinking like that? Just what's gotten into me? <laughs> oh. That doesn't look good. What's wrong? She's not gonna like this. That stone must have hit this as well. Oh, what? Oh, no. 
Last Supper, Leonardo da Vinci Renaissance, late 18, 1490s. Well, obviously it's a, it's a recreation. <laughs> I didn't realize I threw it that hard. Well, it's just a small tear. She probably won't notice. Oh, she'll notice. Yeah, I hope so. I really hope she doesn't. I feel like I'm in enough trouble already. Can I ask you something? Does your family have one of these? Actually, we do. Hung up in the dining room? <laughs> what did you- My mom did the same thing. Here it's a pretty popular practice. I suppose they do it so he can bless our meals. Make sure everything's peaceful and all that. Huh. But it never is, is it? No. Not with the shouting matches me and my mom would get into. <laughs> Trust me, the painting in my house has seen a lot of drama. Same here. <laughs> well, uh, Liana would always get into fights with mom while we were eating. Things are simple as, how was your day? Would erupt into full-blown arguments. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. <laughs> what are you on about? Well, that painting, it's the moment when he announced that one of their number would betray him, right? That's why everyone's whispering to each other. So, in a way, the picture is the very definition of drama. Oh, would you look at that. That's a nice little fact I can bring up next time my mom plays the You're fighting in front of Jesus card. <laughs> they do always say that, don't they? As if a simple painting could suddenly fix all their problems. Yeah, unfortunately, it's used as a way to try and brush the not-so-great stuff around, like underneath the rug. It's really funny because, on one hand, religion is really good about trying to uplift people, trying to inspire people to be better than they are, to to take the higher road, um, to, to, to try and emulate morals and upstanding like lives of, and natures of of beings that are human and yet superhuman, you know? Whether they be prophets or like the Christ or, or I don't know, the Buddha or anything really, like uh, pretty much any religion, especially the ones that have survived to this day, seem to have been the ones that centered around virtuous person or people and virtuous ideas, striving to become better than we are. Like the old religions, like, like Greco, uh, Greco Roman, um, Scandinavian, uh, Celtic, um, classic. Uh, I can't remember what the Chinese, like the classical Chinese before Confucianism were. Like it was Confucianism and Buddhism that kind of merged together, if I recall correctly. But before that, I don't really know what they were, what the, like what the religious structure was. But ultimately, it seems like a lot of these older religions that were surrounded by beings that were divinities that explained nature but were very human as in they were very flawed people died out but the ones that are clinging around staying the long on the longer term are ones that are about emulating something idealistic but the downside to that by pursuing an ideal by pursuing something higher a, bit, a higher road becoming better which is great it's a good motivator but it also becomes a It becomes a suppression tool to take this ideal and to use it to smother expressions of humanity, of naturalness, to say, why would you dare be like that when you should be like this? And that can have its own destructive. And it's, it's funny because of how that is an antithesis to the very teachings of of Jesus, of Muhammad, um, of uh, Buddha, that like it just flies in the face of all of it, really. To 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 essentially use religious idealism as a bat to beat down uh, what we consider to be um, rebelliousness, uh, sin. We just use it as a blunt instrument, like saying things like, 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 don't, why are you arguing in front of Jesus? Like you're using a paragon and the symbol of a paragon, which we're also in Christianity, we're especially told don't worship, by the way. <laughs> uh, but we're using this icon as a motivator to try and enforce what we believe is the right path. 
It's just interesting. It's really interesting. There's a lot of really odd and fascinating philosophies and like moralistic discussions that come involved with religion, but it's, but unfortunately it's tough to talk about because you're talking about something that's so personal to people. It's hard to have a like like a true discussion without people feeling either insulted or sidelined or um, belittled. I, I wish we could be better at talking about concepts and ideas without taking it personally. Yeah. Whenever those arguments broke out, did they ever hit you? Well, when I was younger, but after a while, I... I learned. Why are you asking? I'm no stranger to it. Get hit a few times and you start getting numb and... And after a while, it's less about the pain and more about worrying that it's coming. When Adira was talking to you back there, your hands, they were shaking. Huh? Was that obvious? I guess old habits do die hard. Though... It kind of felt good, looking like looking someone in the eye and taking it a hit. Been a while since that's happened. Hey, about you leaving. If there's anything I can do to help, maybe keep watch. I can even distract Adira if you want. Well, actually, I was thinking that I might not have thought that plan through. Aw, she's gonna stay with us. What do you mean? Well, it's like what you said. Lots of things can go wrong. And if I finally do get home, I'd still have to come up with some excuse for my mom as to why I'm home early. And maybe... <sighs> Look, I know we don't exactly see eye to eye, but we're all stuck in the same boat here. It wouldn't be right to just... Leave you here all alone. You don't have to stay here because of me. <laughs> Not just because of you. It's like I said, lots of things can go wrong. So just shut up about it, okay? <laughs> just shut up and accept my kindness, okay? <laughs> all right. And, uh, thanks, Gabriella. Gabby. Thanks, Gabby. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? We're almost done. Nice. Let me throw this in the trash. Okay, I'll finish up here. It's been a while since I talked to someone like that. She's actually kind of cool. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> huh? What was that? <gasps> Ouch. Holly! <gasps> you hurt your hand. Huh? Oh, fetch, what? <sighs> okay, don't panic. We need something to stop the bleeding. How? How how would that have happened? Damn it! Where the hell do they even keep things here? We need to bandage that up. I'll go find some that won't be necessary. <sighs> Let me see that cut. You should be more careful. Come with me. I'll patch you up. Wait. Um Holly, are you sure? Good job, Gabby. She understands that just letting her be alone with somebody who especially just struck us might be a poor idea. But at the same time, I also don't feel like a, a, that the sister is truly a threat. I think she responded out of abject like anger because of something that was very precious to her. But she also recoiled really quickly and said, like, no, wait, that's not the right way to do things. So I feel like she's OK. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Really? Concern yourself with cleaning up. You should have been more careful. Why use your bare hands? We have gloves for this sort of thing. Over at the table, second drawer to the right. Would have been nice to know that earlier. Eh, fair. Like, how are we supposed to know? <laughs> Wait right here. I have some bandages in the back. Way to go, Holly. Should have been more careful. Well... I guess I'm stuck here now. Oh. She's already started putting it back together. Oh. Oh, oh, 
here we go. Now give me your hand. Oh, goodness, dear. Don't pick at it. Do you want it to scar? <laughs> Was I picking at it? Calm down. It could be hard to treat this with your hands trembling like that. Oh, sorry. I just... Relax. I've done this before. Hundreds of times if you count the statues. <laughs> I've been told humor helps calm the nerves. Oh, ha ha. I'm sure it does. Sorry. I'll try to sit still. Darn it, Holly. Stop shaking. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't look at it. That'll only make things worse. Let your mind wander elsewhere. Talk about something. Tell me more about yourself. Myself? Yes. Say, what type of hobbies are popular these days? Hobbies, hobbies. Guess I've got some. Problem is, most of them are definitely going to merit a lecture from her. Well, I could always just be real vague, like, really vague. <sighs> yeah, drawing or writing? The fan fiction or fan art? Let's do writing. Well, I like writing. Oh, I see. What do you write about? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, you know, just a little bit of everything. Essays for school and diary entries. Oh, she's not gonna... Oh, I see. Back in the day, when some of the younger girls were bored, I gave them journals to write in. Much like the one I gave you. In their prayers, some of them would write down such intimate secrets. Things I could never imagine them saying out loud. Others would be a bit more creative. Mm -hmm. Making up fanciful stories about their stay here. Some of the other sisters thought it was a waste of time, however. Well, just look around. This convent has such a rich history to it. And, thanks to their writings, the many works of Saint Idolora are now preserved forevermore. So that one over there? Oh, that. Yes, why, that's Saint Idolora herself. Oh. I've been meaning to get to that one for the longest time. Why haven't you? No matter how hard I try... Little cracks and stains everywhere. And they're always so hard to remove. Mm -hmm. But once it's done, I'll have it moved to the entrance hall so she can watch over all the young girls during these retreats. Just like in the old days, this convent brings people together. Back when there were more sisters, oh, we'd fill the chambers with hymns a choir of saints all of us I had hoped well I still hope that one day we can fill these halls with faithful little saints once again she'd like that very much I think maybe it's just my imagination but I'm pretty sure that was the statue from last night now this might sting a bit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I... I would like to apologize. Hmm? Maybe it was... I mean... I shouldn't have... <laughs> when we lash out at someone, it's because we care for them. Oh, you understand? That's convenient. Yeah, I... I hear that a lot. And also, it was irresponsible of me to have you clean up that glass. Oh, just look at what happened. Well, it's fine, really. No, it isn't. Today has been a particularly strange day. I've been all over the place, managing this recollection. And these mysterious sightings that you've had, it's like walking through a dream. Expecting to wake up, only to realize that you've been awake the whole time. Mm -hmm. I guess... I guess maybe we both just got a little bit excited after everything that's happened. Yes. Yes, 
yes, that's true. Actually, about that, about what happened last night, I'd like to hear more. Where do I even start? I mean, Gabriella said not to encourage her, but what if she knows something? I could get some answers. Hmm, <sighs> don't get carried away. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I do think it's probably a bad idea to encourage her too much, but she cares. I know this might seem a bit strange, but I think I've been hearing my sister. Hmm. I see. Your mother told me about what happened. Did she, though? Oh, you poor girl, you... That must have been horrible. I thought that maybe it was just all in my head, but after what's happened, just what is going on? Well, I... I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but perhaps she is calling you. Calling me? Sometimes. God sends our loved ones back to us as angels. Really? Oh, don't look at me like that. Is it so hard to believe? With a little bit of faith, such things are possible. Hmm. Perhaps there's something important she wants to tell you. Something so important that God is sending her back to us as an angel. That sounds... That sounds too good to be true. Holly, this is a holy place. Here, miracles can happen. Uh -huh. Think about it. All those years ago, what do you think we did? Um... We prayed, we remembered, we spread the faith. Every single day, Mother Idolora believed that these actions, these habits, had the power to leave a mark upon these hallowed halls. Our actions etched into stone, so that in some way, our great works continue, even after we're all gone. And so, this convent was her gift to the world. Heaven on earth, she would call it. Sculpted by our hands and the hands of all the sisters who came before. That sounds amazing. Almost magical. Dear, I know it can be hard. I'm no stranger to loss, but I can assure you, the worst is almost over. Pain is a curious thing. Just look away. Let it run its course, and you'll find that the spirit is above such things. And just like that, we're done. Uh, Didn't even notice. Give it a few days, and it should be back to normal. Thank you so much, Sister Adira. And, uh, sorry again about the window. No, think nothing of it. Now go on ahead. I still have work to finish here. Yeah. Liana. To be honest, Liana, I'm not sure what to think. But if there's even a chance I can see you again, whether it's heaven or earth or which would, magic or miracle, I'll take it. I'll take it whatever chance I can get. Oh, careful what you wish for. <laughs> I think this is a good place for us to stop, even though it's like playing the creepy music. We'll have to see how this all plays out next time, but yeah. Ooh, Nelly. Talk about intense. Okay, so. Lots of good stuff to talk about. Lots of terrifying stuff to talk about. All in all, pretty cool. I have no idea what else we can expect. And like I said, like, I'm pretty sure, like, our choices kind of dictate what kind of ending we're going to get. I, at least I think so. Like, every time we've had an achievement, I feel like it's like a marker of, like, kind of like where we're going so we'll have to see how this all plays out really interesting i wonder what this what this like if we're gonna actually get answers or if it's just going to rush to an end 
and we just have to like and we're going to be left like with the handbag essentially saying like what the heck just happened and i like we'll have to theorize about it ourselves so that'll be really interesting anyway thank you so much for being here today thank you so much for joining me on the channel and for these great stories again like fridays are more about stories that might not normally get a highlight there's a lot of great visual novels and a lot of them on these tier lists and stuff that you'll find online but i really like how we make time and we'll continue to make time for titles that may not be good on tier lists like that but are stuff that we still want to enjoy and see and kind of experience for ourselves so thank you for letting me have the opportunity to share this with you and for actually joining me on this journey and especially to the patrons to help make it possible for us to select this title and I hope you've, you've enjoyed it as much as I have already. It's definitely given me a lot to think about and chew on. So hopefully it's something interesting to stimulate your mind and kind of, I don't know, bring up interesting and very philosophical type thoughts, especially going into the weekend. Goodness knows we certainly need more time to think about stuff in the future. So thank you so much. Hope you have a great rest of your day and a great start of your weekend. Until next video, watch me, have a see me next. I'll see you there.